Hello everyone, welcome to this new tutorial. I'm Nerdy Talking and today I will be showing you how to use the sprite mask component to hide or reveal part of a sprite and create really cool looking effects for your games. The first thing that we are going to need are some sprites. For this video I will be using the following sprite pack. If you want to use the same one, I will leave you the link in the description. Once you have your sprite, the next thing that we need is a sprite mask. So let's create an empty game object. I will name it sprite mask. And now inside of this new game object, let's add a new component and look for sprite mask. As we can see, this component requires a sprite, so let me grab one. I have this circle sprite that I'm going to drag in here. Now we have this orange circle that is basically our sprite mask. And the only thing that I have to do is to tell the other sprites how they are going to react with the sprite mask. So let's say for example this boy sprite and as you can see I have a mask interaction field and in here I can select for the sprite to be visible inside of the mask or to be visible outside of the mask. So for the first one I'm going to choose outside of the mask and as you can see now the parts of the sprite that are outside of the mask are visible and the parts that are inside of the mask are no longer visible. Now let's take the other one and make the opposite. I will make it visible only inside of the mask. So this time it's going to be the opposite. The parts of the sprite inside of the mask are being shown. Uh, the parts that are outside are no longer visible. I will do the same with the other sprite, with the girl. This one is going to be visible outside of the mask and the other one is going to be visible inside of the mask. I will also change the position. So basically I have one sprite on top of the other one and I will do the same one with the, the demon. And now when I move my sprite mask, the sprite on the top is being hidden and the sprite on the back is being shown and you get this cool x-ray looking effect. And finally I wrote a very basic script so the sprite mask can follow the cursor position. Let me show you. On the update method I get the mouse position. I convert it from screen to work point and I change the object position to be equal to the mouse position. So now when we hit play, I see that the sprite mask is following the cursor and we get this cool x-ray looking effect. And that's the basic concept of a sprite mask. You can now start playing with the shapes and the sprites and create your own cool looking game effects. I will leave you two extra examples of things you can do with sprite masks. In this first one, I use a sprite mask to alter between day and night. Here I have the same effect, but with a different background. And this one, I don't know how to call it, but it looks really sick. And in case you want to see a superb implementation of Sprite Mask, definitely go check The Dreadful Whisper, a game by Blackthorn Pro that was released on Steam last week. I will leave you a link in the description because it is one of the coolest implementations that I've seen of this technique. 
and also he has a really cool YouTube channel full of tutorials and information on game development so also go check it out and that's it for today as always remember to subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions just let me know in the comment sections